guys I'm gonna show you now how I put this together and uh, I've already done some of it so that that way we can save some time and the video won't be ten times long but anyway I want to get to some of these neat pieces uh, I've told you that I got a lot of it in craft stores uh, Dollar Tree they do seasonal and it's awesome I just walk down their seasonal aisle and I just grab all kinds of things that I think might can use because even if you don't use it in your arrangement you can use it to scatter around on your table to decorate your table which that'll be later when I explain all that but anyway I thought it'd be fun to have some coins to stick in there so I glued them together and to show you real quick I wrapped the stick with this gold ribbon I simply took the stick Took the stick, I put on just a little dot of the hot glue and wrap it around like so. Just keep wrapping it around and just keep going around and around and around until you get it down to about right here because you don't have to worry about that box that'd be in the foam. And I put another dot of glue and cut it. All right, so I've already got them ready. Now the coin has two sides, and it's the clover. So with the clover, I put it down, put a little glue on the clover, put the stick, the skewer right on there, hold it for a second, put a little more hot glue on top, and it's got words, four leaf clover, good luck. Now I put it on there and just kind of press down gently and hold it there. Then you have a coin. And here I have, some, I made six of them. And now this one, this one's uh, a longer skewer. And what I did was I found this uh, neat foam little pieces with the clover again from the Dollar Tree and I used the to the stick and I found this neat tape decorative tape at the Dollar Tree the green and I stick it on here and cut it just lay it down and press gently then I press that side in like this the side with the less to get it on there and then I just carefully Wrap this, wrap it around the stick until the, until it's completely covered, and then I just run my hand down to make sure it stays on there good. See, so, you know, it's nice covered. Then what I do is I take these little pieces, and I see the stick. How much is? Right, I just put it straight down with the hot glue. Put these guys over here. You just lay this down like so you put some more hot glue on top of that and try to line it up cover the stick it doesn't matter if a little bit of the back of the clover shows because it just adds to it really makes it cool and then it kind of kind of open like that so you can leave it like that if you like oh look I like putting just a couple dabs on the top just the top I like to leave the sides open so I think that really looks neat makes it look cool and I had this color green and this color green so I went on ahead and did those so it's a total of six now, these little cute things, this is foam scatter that you can use to throw on like decorating the table, which is, is really cool, but I thought they would be really cool to make like little sticks stick in there to also add to the decorative pieces. You can use whatever size you want. I um, whitewashed some of the sticks with water down craft paint. And I simply just brushed it on and laid it over here. I got a little board over here that I like to do it too, so I don't get paint and glue everywhere. 
and you can really just do it in any order they don't have to be the same um, I think I'll put this guy and then then maybe a smaller one just to make it interesting and you got to be careful not to get your finger and try to go straight through I'm gonna do a coin straight through and a little buggy flying around a nice big clover Let's see I think I'll do it through the skinny part first this one's gonna be tricky yeah see isn't that cool you can do it any kind of way you want I mean these are all these little ones you know you can just do some of the little guys they're really cute and really fun I put bigger one and a little one just like that just do it any way you want and like if, if the wood is bare if you don't mind that which it goes through but I love the contrast of the white with the green and the gold so I'll whitewash this afterwards and we we'll just continue making a few more like that just it's really cool hey you go away trying to get a bug here that wants to get in on the action here do some crafts uh, I'm gonna do a little one like that and do a medium one I think that's cool and then do a big one let's do it like this I'm gonna keep them separated just to make them look cool see that looks really neat really neat and you can adjust it however you like it's another neat one next got two more coins left so I'll see what I'm gonna do with these boogers you can see um, this time I'm gonna do him first and then I'm gonna do a medium like so and then maybe a tiny one on top and I'll look cute Ta -da. and one more I think these guys are cool this time I'm gonna do the big one the stick feels a little sometimes the sticks are skinnier than the others I'm gonna do a big guy the medium guy And then the little guy, just for the top. Like that. And you can have fun and, and twist them around like this to give them a neat look. Just to make them a little different. The, or you can just make it straight and symmetrical, however you like. I like it being off instead of perfect. Be straight. Right, I just like that look. Next, I want to talk about the shamrock hats. There are many hats that I found again at the Dollar Tree, and you guys, you can put it on. They can look good on my Chihuahua. <laughs> and what I do is I painted the stick, I whitewashed it, and I simply cut off the straps because you won't need those. And I figured the way I like for it to stick on be like that. So I'm going to put some glue right here at the top and right here at the bottom to hold it. And then just stick, stick in the glue like so and just let it sit for a second. I turn it upside down here. Get rid of some of this stuff. And then just have some extra coins. I bought extra coins because I thought it would be cool to throw some over on the table for the display and maybe put some on the inside here. Alright. Next, I want to talk about the base here. The pole, I'm going to do a top on it. 
and then the back was just not painted at all so I painted it green and put glitter on the back but I'm gonna attach it to the pole but it was a little too tall for me see how tall it was so I cut it I say about six inches off and then I'm gonna attach it like like this I'm gonna put some glue in the back and then I'm gonna use some wire to hold it in place and Gorilla Glue that I used for the base the clear glue glue should probably work too but I'm gonna try the glue gun put it down the center here put Lobs of it. Lobs. Put it on there and hold it for a few seconds here. Okay. I'm going to get some of this wire free here. It's all bunched up. But I undid this already. it stays in place and, and settles. I'm going to put some planter's wire, which is also from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I'm just going to do like this, put it all together, just for now, just to hold it together. All right, now the idea I came up with was this cute little top. It's a wire top hat, and I just, a shamrock hat, and I just love it. some decorative pieces with that to make it really pop. But I love that and I'm going to do that and run with that idea. 
but I decided that I want to cover my base with this glitter paper that has an adhesive back. And I'm going to I'm going to use the green, of course. And this stuff is like so awesome. It's nice and thin and easy to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the sides. I'm not going to do the top. That way it's easy to stick everything in. So I'm going to kind of measure it by putting it down like this. And I'm not going to worry about getting all the way down. I'm going to try to. But I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going to put gold coins there. I'm going to use my Zecto knife and cut it. Come on, baby. Just cut it all the way around. I kind of got it there. So here you try to cut a straighter line. Using the ruler. The ruler, the ruler. Take my glue stick, 
and I start right just behind, I'll show you, right behind the shamrock there. Put this on. Woo! Hot, baby. Yeah. Hold it there for a second. Let it get set up. Then I'm going to make it easier. I'm trying to get these little glue webs. Alright. I'm going to just start twisting it. And I'm going to do it where some of the metallic silver on the dowel will show through. There we go. This is just beautiful ribbon. I just love it. It's got different size glitter too. It's got the tiny one, the regular, and then it has these big ones. It's really, really, really cool. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I'm probably going to cut a little extra just to make sure. Go all the way down. And once I get it, how much I like. Let's see, I'm go up a little bit more. There we go. I add some more below down here to hold it in place. Probably do it right there. I have a little extra to help hold it. Yeah. There we go. And I'm just gonna cut it straight down like so. If you need to, you can add a little dollop of glue there. Just to make sure it sticks, stays on. Oops, that's not. Get webs off. All right. And see, you have clean left over for other projects. And again, I bought this at Dollar Tree. Put it over here in my little basket. Extras over here. thing I want to do is the garland. Now the garland, I found this at Joann's and I got it on sale. Really good price. It's $3.99 and I paid half of that. But they'd be on sale half of that. Right. Where does it begin? Oh, I think it's tied. Here we go. Oh yeah. Alright. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to wrap it around it. So, yes, of it. Again, I'm going to add some glue. And then I'm going to add some glue just above where I added it before. And I'm gonna pre bend it. Just bend it slightly. Put it on that glue and let it sit on there really good. Just let it sit for a minute until it gets held up really good. start bending it around. I think I'm going to go ahead and just go down a ways and cut it, just guessing. That way I don't have to keep working it around the whole <laughs> Alright. I should have plenty. Now you just keep going in a circle and I'm going on the silver part that I didn't cover with the ribbon. I'm just letting it all in and out. Bend around it. This gives it different textures and makes it fun. I love when I find this garland. I can't wait to see 
put up on for Easter. I hope it's little bunnies. Just keep wrapping. Just about got it. Now I'm gonna put some glue and then I'm gonna wrap it back. I'm gonna wrap it a few times around there just to make sure it's held on really well. Hold it in place and just wrap it around it. Really good. It just gives it a little extra. And that should do it. Cut it. There we go. <laughs> really looking cool. All right. Next, I like to. What I like to do is add the tall, tallest things I'm gonna be putting on there first. And I've got these really neat white and green glitter sticks. And just stick it randomly around in there. And I stick it close as I can to the, to the wooden dowel. And when you're putting them on, you don't want it to stick out too far. You want to kind of it to stay around this, this area here. That's what you want. You're all there. You want to do all the green first. It will look awesome like this. Oh, yeah. Now the white. That's it. So I've got a mine of their own. And next, this is a balloon weight. And I got this at the Dollar Tree. And what I do is I break it into little pieces to get it out. And then you're left with the wire on the bottom and it's still taped. You want to keep that taped. This comes untaped, tape it back just like this. And then I take it and I spread it out and you can have all kinds of fun. I'm going to keep it straight this time, but sometimes you can twirl it, which I'll show you when I do the garland, what I do. And I'm just going to add it in here just to give it a little something. Give it a little... Okay, untie it. And, then, and I love these little ties. I keep those because you never know. And I love the paper as well, so I keep the paper. I might end up using some of it. See, it comes in a whole piece every time. All right, that worked. We got some glue left over here. Cut that off. All right, got that. And again, I spread it out, make it look pretty. All pretty. Stick it in there. There we go. Just spread it all around. And if you want to, you can get more than that. You can get two more put on each side just to make it even more. But sometimes less is more. Save these guys. We love them. Beautiful, beautiful paper. Beautiful paper. To be used for the base. Alright. This is dry enough now. So I'm going to take my glue gun. Put a little big glob of the hot glue and stick this down in there. Yeah. Just put tons of glue on it. And let that dry for a second. That's gonna be an, a play a, as a portent piece. 
Next, I want to start filling it in. Um, usually, I put the biggest thing first, which will be this piece, and it's drying really well right now. And I know where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it on this side here. And I'm probably going to put it aside. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and add the hats. And I, I think it'd be fun to kind of stab them in the sideways. And I'm kind of like. Just show here and there. There's, I did three. It's always better to do an odd number. You know what? I, I want that to be shorter. I think that will look good better shorter. So what I do is I take my scissors and I pr put pressure and, and kind of put cut into it. It won't cut all the way through. You'll ruin your scissors and then it should snap easy though. Do this one, set this one up I like that. And another hat, I'm gonna do it on this side. I'm gonna do it like that. And I'm gonna do this one over here, kind of like right there. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> Once this is dry, I'm going to stick it in right over here, like so. I'll let that dry. And I've got the neat little clovers. Put those guys randomly in here and there. And you can cut it short if you want. If you want it to have different variations and you can even stab it in more. I think I'm gonna cut that one short too. Yeah. <laughs> oh that's pretty. Let's do a light one like that. turn around so you can see the back and I can see the other side so you kind of want to make sure because like this is your centerpiece you want to make sure you're getting it nice and even everywhere and that's what I'm doing here I'll put one in front here Hello. I have a beautiful green one here I'm gonna put that one right in the front Put it in the hole there and do that with this one because it's a lighter color between the halves and it's just very pretty then I'm gonna add the fun little guys said it's fun I twisted them to kind of be shaped different not be straight equal with each other because then it gives it more interest oh that's looking nice 
gold coins. <laughs> oh yeah. Down in there. There, I'll do some with the words I show and then some with just a clover. And some of you stab down further than the others to, to that way it looks really cool. Nice and even. Do that one with the words. There we go. Clover. Wow. Okay. And next, what I wanted to do is add these fun twisty guys. What I said was you can find these at a party shop. I think Michaels carries them too. I'm not sure, but it usually comes like this, all taped together. And I pulled the floral tape off and pull them apart until they're single pieces. And what I do is, as I play with it, I can bend it, I can manipulate it to be any shape I want, and then I carefully stab it in. And you don't have to use that many of them. Um, you can just use just a few. This one looks like it's only gonna need a couple because it's already just, just beautiful. And really, it's just to, uh, to be like a feeler, you know, and just to give it another different element of shape. Yeah. Let's see if I can get that sucker in there. See how it's doing? Oh, it's just, that's pretty. That's really pretty. I always put six. I always used to go by the rule of three, just like if you're doing a flower arrangement. I've got four in there. Let's do one right. Let's see, let's see another one. Do one right here. That would be fun. And I need just one more. And I think it'll be right here, be a good spot. Yeah. All right, there we go. It's coming together. Okay, the next thing I wanted to do is I take some of the garland. Let's see if I got it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I take the garland. I've got the leftover dowel. I just thought about using that to make it bigger, but I usually use a small dowel and I make and I twist it around it like so that over it just around it and then I'll let go and you've got this cool looking twirl just like these see and what I like to do with it let's cut a little extra off show you real quick so I like taking little pieces of paper which you can use like this, this is nice and square. And I cut it into four pieces, once down the middle. Again, once down the middle. Again, once down the middle. So you got green, foil, that's, that's from the paper weight, balloon weight, and then I take this fringe poster border that I found at the Dollar Tree, and it's really cool stuff. Pull 
pull that out. And I take it off. There's just a little piece of tape holding it together. Take that tape off. So I can get to it. Alright. Now, I take my little square piece. I'll move this over just a second. I take my little square piece here and I measure where, how far it's going to be and I cut it right there. And it's got an adhesive on the back and you just put it on there. Like that. Do the same thing again over here. Put that tape on there. There we go. Same thing again. Take the adhesive off and lay it on there. What this is going to do, it's going to make it more fun. And I don't go all the way like this, I just do the green. And I'll show you what I do. Once I do that, one more. This is just another cool texture. <laughs> Little frillies. All right. What I do is then I take my little wire. I do it like a little U. And then I take my floral pen. And I put it around the top of the wire and twist. One good twist. Take the center. Put your fingers in the center. Kind of bunch it up like, like this. Like, like a flower. Just twist it and bunch it up. Put your floor pin through there. And let's see. We'll stick it right here. And this well, and then I take this and I let it, I bend it and let it kind of show up through there. And this will hide the rest of that foam, say. And I thought about maybe using these in here too to give it a little different color. I'm not quite sure though, because that just looks so awesome and it shows coins. You know what? This is history. We're just gonna do some more of these guys. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Maybe like a few more. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. It's going to look really awesome. And if you can't find this to do that, like I said, you could just use paper, so it'll take more of it. And it'll still look beautiful. In fact, like I said, I was going to use the gold. And there we go. Now, if you know any, notice any spots where the foam is showing through, which I've got a couple spots. You just simply add a little more paper here, which is what I usually do. Take the paper, once again, cut it in the middle. Cut it in the middle again. Cut it in the middle. Um, you can just take it and stick it in there to kind of hide. Um, if you've got any of this left, you can put that on. I'm going to put just a little on. Just a one corner right there. So that sucker just didn't cover good. Alright. Take this, and I'm not going to put one of these in there because really it's just going to be so tiny. You can squish it up and make it so tiny. It's just to hide a little spot. So 
take that away from me. There. Did you see? You don't even notice. It's awesome. It's beautiful. Next, what I do is I found LED string lights <laughs> at the Dollar Tree. But it takes double A, two double A batteries, and there's the switch, turn it on and off. I take it and I put it on the inside, inside the ball here, and I put it all the way down so it's kind of hidden. the box over here and there when you light it you'll have a, a little bit of a iridescence of green coming from the pot and see all the extra pieces I have left over <laughs> I'm gonna save this for another project most definitely another project All right, I'm gonna show it to you one more time. I don't, oh, I'm gonna take the wire off now. Yeah, that's on there really good. Oh yeah. All right. Okay. You ready? Make sure I got it all. All right, here we go. Very beautiful. It's the front, side, the back. And it's finished. I hope you have a happy St. Patrick's Day. Remember, for a green. <laughs> I hope this inspires you to do something really cool for St. Patrick's Day. Remember, like, subscribe, hit that bell. Bye.